student here in this video i will explain about notation of sets notation of special sets and representation of set right so let me explain one by one usually sets are represented with capital letter right like a b d and so on right and the members of a set or the element of a set are represented with a small letter like a b c etc right and numbers are usually written as you know so a set can be represented with a small letter and with the help of a curly brackets and i am writing here the uh, members or elements of the set like i o or a e i o u okay watch here this is the set of uh, vowel letter right so if uh, anybody said that a is a set of the vowel letters of english alphabet then you can write a belongs to set a and if uh, there is the letters which are not members of the set a for example here d so we can write d doesn't belong to set a okay Uh, already i have discussed this one in the uh, first part of the video okay there are certain special set that are normally represented by a particular uh, letter uh, capital letter okay so here if you want to represent natural numbers so we will use the capital letter n okay and and the whole numbers are denoted by a capital letter w similarly the integers are denoted by letter i or z okay friend in the book you have also noted that the natural numbers are normally denoted by letter n whole number by w and integer by z now if you have forget what are the natural number and what are the whole numbers so i want to uh, remind here a set can be represented in two ways right the first one is called the roster method or tabular form okay i am writing tabular form first and the second one is called the set builder form or rule method okay okay so you have to first uh, know what is this two form i am writing here suppose uh, i am writing one example of tabular form here okay the first one example of tabular form suppose a is a set and its member are first four natural number so i can write this set in tabular form like this and this is also called roster method okay an example of second type that means set builder form uh, <coughs> i am writing i am giving example with the same set whatever i have uh, represented here for tabular form right so set a can be written as like this equal to x that means a is a set uh, having member x the value of x is such that x belongs to natural number right and x is less than 5 very simple this is called set builder form and this is the tabular form normally student think that when the tabular form is very easy to write and it is felt that very much comfortable by student tabular form then what is the requirements of this set builder form or 
रूल मेथड ओके देयर इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म वाई आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज यू आर आस्क टू राइट ए सेट फॉर द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन ओके सो इफ आई टोल्ड यू टू राइट दिस सेट इन टेबलर फॉर्म सो यू विल राइट सपोज पी इज द पॉपुलेशन एंड हियर all the peoples of india that means every citizen is the member of this p set population so you have to write the name of each and every citizen okay now this is the problem here why set builder form is needed but in set builder form or rule method we can very easily write this we write p equal to x x is such that x is the population of our country population of our country okay so it is very simple this statement includes all the uh, 135 crores people of india so this form is very uh, easy to represent this set come in compare to this tabular form right and one thing i want to uh, give the technique of the for the student how they will remember uh, rule method that means set builder form and tabular form right so you remember two words because it is very important uh, student sometimes confuse which one is the tabular form and which one is the set builder form so for the first one you remember the word tr okay tr tabular form or rule method t for tabular and r for roster okay in this t for tabular r for roster that means there is the name of the uh, two name of the set one is we, we say tabular form and another is uh, roster form the same set is name okay and you just remember the uh, the two letter tr tabular or roster okay and for the second type of uh, set that means set builder form you remember the word uh, sr sr okay s for set builder and r for rule method okay so r for rule method s for set builder sr tr and t uh, tr only you remember t for table it will normally come table and roster and set builder and rule method both endings in r but don't confuse you remember this one then it is possible to have this in your mind and it is very important student i am telling because the many students confuse because of these two names okay there uh, should be uh, the single single name then there would not be any confusion but because the each and every set has the two names that's why there is chance of the confusion so that so i am advising you to remember separately the two set right like tr sr t for table r for roster s for set builder r for rule very simple okay so next i am going to explain the details about the how to write tabular form how to write set builder form okay friend